Hi, this is Retro Rocket number 53, part 3 of the Mock Missions. Now, last uh, part of this uh, four-part series, I talked about uh, the Mars 500, and that I did mention that I had a few criticisms of it. I think it's a really great uh, way to get people thinking about space and to really test out uh, long-duration missions. But my problem is everything should be a little bit more realistic. They need some uh, uh, Disney engineers or Imagineers to come in and kind of tweak it up and make it uh, like you feel like you're actually seeing a space mission and not, you know, something in a warehouse. Here's an April Fool's photograph where they, uh, I guess, Photoshop in uh, a weightlessness on their mock mission. Really, the wood interior really bothers me, uh, and uh, they really don't address gravity on the mock missions. And I think there's a way to do that where you you can't reduce gravity on these missions or eliminate Earth gravity completely. I think you could do a little something that would help with the psychological process uh, of the people on the mock mission. Here's the uh, Mir's space station that is uh, now on display at the Wisconsin Dales, the Exploratorium there, a science museum, a privately owned science museum. And I think they've solved the problem of giving a slight effect to gravity. Now, I know this was done on the tour. I'm not so sure this was do is done now, but uh, a friend who toured this uh, Mir space station said that uh, they had everything slightly tilted and they had microfoam uh, flooring so you you got a feeling everything was a little off and it at least gave you the effect that gravity wasn't quite right here's what the interior of the mirrors uh, space station looks like in the wisconsin dales and this is how I think the interior of a mock mission should look. It should look more like a real space vehicle. And I think that's not only for the psychological value for the, the crew, uh, but I also think uh, people that would view this by video or on the news media would get a sense this mission was taking itself a little bit more serious. Here's one part of the Mars 500 interior that I think works, which is the airlock. This, this I believe, is a real airlock on a real space mission. Unfortunately, when they go to the Mars surface, it's such a tiny area. You can see the wall in the background in this photo that it's not very convincing. Maybe they were afraid of being accused they were faking the mock mission. I'm not really sure why a larger area maybe it was just economics that this probably cost a lot of money to do so they were limited on funds but i think a more realistic marscape would have really helped this in the media and something i'd love to see is a much larger garden area here this is part of the mars 500 uh, uh, garden area and i think that would have really connected with people if it was a little bit larger scale now, this is their uh, little warehouse where they store their food and I guess other supplies. And I gotta say, I'm very underwhelmed by this. This looks like uh, the back of a restaurant I worked at when I was a younger man. And uh, I, of course, probably unrealistic of me, but I'd love to see something more like uh, 2001 of Space Odyssey's Discovery storage area. Uh, just it would uh, needs a little art direction I think and who could do a better mock mission well my childhood hero Walt Disney could but of course he's no longer with us here Walt stands in front of my favorite futuristic city that well-worn utopian concept of a futuristic city the will but his was the best endless backyards uh, something that was never seen because instead we've got uh, Permanent World's Fair Amusement Park uh, that is now Epcot Center. But even that has its own little mock mission that actually kind of got this whole discussion going. Of course, this is the Epcot Center of my dreams. 
the one I went to, like I said, is uh, a permanent World's Fair. But in 2011, I went there with my son and my grandson, and while we were standing in line for Mission Space, the conversation turned to, why doesn't Disney fund a Mars mission? And I think the first step with that, to have a mock Mars mission, complete was a large Mars surface area and a full-size ship that the Machinots would enter and people could communicate with via, you know, radio waves. And there would be a time delay to make it realistic how far in the distance you could. So early day in the park, you could come in, leave a message, and then however long it would take for a real Mars mission to reach it, wherever they're at in that Mars mission, it would return. But this kind of, of uh, funding would actually help build a future, give us some knowledge of the psychological uh, struggles on a Mars mission, and it would be good for the Disney Corporation. Okay, I rode this ride, and why is included in here? Because it actually did deal with gravity and acceleration, and even though it's a very well-disguised centrifuge ride, it, uh, it worked for me. I'm very claustrophobic because of the ventilation up here. I didn't really have a tr problem with it. The ride wasn't that long. Uh, how this could be applied to a realistic Mars mission, uh, probably there isn't any way unless you included this in, uh, in the part going into orbit around Earth to the mission and landing and, and leaving Mars. So I guess you could use it for that. You could use it for uh, actually getting off the ground and back down again. So, so maybe it's maybe this could this type of thing could be worked into the overall mock mission. Okay, in uh, part four, I'll be talking about my own plans for a mock mission. Of course, it will be with toys, but it'll illustrate how you could have a mock mission in a type of imagination center in an old big box store, a vacant big box store. And I hope you like my new hat. This is the reverse hat because uh, PhotoVoof does most of their things reverse. It saves me a lot of times flipping uh, image around. And here's a hat that is not reverse, but because of the video you see right now. So I have two hats. I'll probably be doing some more of these hats for uh, my mock Mars mission was toys later on. And we'll be discussing this design in uh, part four, the final part of uh, mock missions.